Welcome to this tutorial where we will explore how to disable input fields in Angular applications. Whether you are building a form that requires conditional inputs or you need to restrict user interactions under certain conditions, this guide will provide you with practical skills to enhance your Angular projects. Before we begin, make sure that you have basic understanding of Angular and TypeScript and also make sure that Angular CLI is installed and set up. So very first scenario that we will cover is disabling an input field based on a condition. Imagine a form where user must select an option from a dropdown before they can fill in the subsequent input fields. First, we need to set up a simple form in Angular. So let's open up our app component. And first of all, I will create a basic HTML form. And here I will add form group directive and give it the property that will have my form. Okay. We will create this uh, form group very shortly. Let's complete the select tag first. Here we will add form control name my select. So make sure to import the reactive forms module first in your app component. So as we have standalone component because of this property, so we can directly import the module in our component. So just use the reactive form module and import it in this array all right now let's add some options all right after that i will add an input and i will add form control name my input okay now let's uh, make the form group in our ts file so here i will add my form is equal to new form group and we will give it an object and in that object every property would be the form field so very first field is my select and new form control right after that we have my input and in this we will have an object and that object will have uh, the so that object will have value and disabled property so by default we are making we are disabling the input after that i will create a constructor this dot my form dot get my select value changes so value changes property uh, is an observable so or an subject so we can just subscribe to it to listen to the changes to this input or to this form control okay now here i can check if value is available then this dot my form dot get my input so this will give me the control of that form group and we will enable it if not then in else case i will just make it disabled in this way okay so here we have a drop down my select and my input initially my input was disabled we subscribe to the value changes of my select and enable the my input only when option is selected so let's give it a quick try uh let's open it in the browser so this is an input let me zoom it to show you so this input is currently disabled you cannot click on that you cannot type in it but if you select an option you will see that immediately the input has been enabled and you can type in it but if you make another option that is an empty option then it will make it disabled again next we will move on to the second scenario that would be disabling an input field programmatically sometimes you may need to disable an input field based on a certain event or api responses so let's update our html i will remove everything and then we will just add input type text and here i will add a form control and we will give it a form control with the name my input i did not create it yet but i will create it shortly after that i need a button and in that button i will add a text disable button or disable input and we will add a click event on it so if somebody clicks on that button that then we will call a function disable input okay now let's go to the app component i will remove everything and start from scratch first of all we need to define the my input control and then we need to create a function disable input and then simply we will call a function disable on that control by using this dot my input dot disable okay so we have an input field that is bound to my input form control the disable input method is triggered when the button is clicked disabling the input field so let's give it a quick try 
uh, this is uh, let me actually add it in a div to align it properly so right now you can see this input is working and enabled but if you click on that button then input has become disabled okay we can have another button as well that will enable that input okay so here you can have that function and this time we will use the enable function and that will enable it again so you can see it is disabled if you click on the enable then it would be enable again you can have a single function as well so for example <clears throat> you can check that if my input dot disabled then we will use this dot my input dot enable function else we will disable it okay you can have single line conditions as well if you want to like this one and toggle input disable so now we will set that function call on one button click and we don't need multiple buttons okay so let's give it a try you can see i can use single button to disable and enable that input so disabling input fields in angular is a straightforward yet powerful feature it allows for dynamic and interactive forms enhancing the user experience so remember the key is to understand the context in which you need to disable the input and leverage angular's reactive forms capabilities to achieve remember the key is to understand the context in which you need to disable the input and leverage angular's reactive forms capabilities to achieve it i hope that this video was useful for you please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and also please like share and comment this video if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions thanks for watching see you next time